Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. A quick update on what's been happening with the Drone Pilot Association of Canada over the past few weeks and our upcoming meeting with Transport Canada and Nav Canada. Let's jump in. A quick reminder, DPAC is an advocacy group addressing Transport Canada with the concerns of recreational and light commercial drone pilots. Our primary objective is to apply our influence in order to improve the drone regulatory environment, including the rules, exams, certifications, airspace restrictions, procedures, and fee structures. DPAC membership is totally free, and there's a link in the description down below if you'd like to become a member. As I record this, we have 931 members. Fantastic. DPAC is led by a terrific team of individuals from across the country acting as a steering committee. I introduced these guys in a previous video if you missed it. Go check it out. We're communicating daily on various topics and got together on May 18th for our second virtual meeting. Three key things were on the agenda. And I have to give full kudos to Steve Bogner for chairing the meeting and getting us through these, all these topics efficiently. First, we reviewed and approved a set of operating guidelines for the steering committee itself. Mike Hill compiled these and they're good. They're simple, succinct, and not too bureaucratic. Secondly, we distilled down a list of challenges facing drone pilots that DPAC could tackle in some sort of prioritized manner. We were pretty sure that addressing the exam knowledge areas would be our first focus area, but we decided to engage the larger community for confirmation. And this is what led to the creation of the survey that I sent out on June the 2nd to all DPAC members. I'm recording this video just 24 hours after sending the survey out, but I'm already impressed with the response. 401 people at this point, 43% of the membership did the survey. Incredible. And that shows me you guys are both interested and keen for change. There's a ton of data to sift through, so I won't go through it all today. But a couple of interesting points jump out. First, a clear confirmation that our top priority will be to urge Transport Canada to rationalize the knowledge areas for the exams. But perhaps just as important as that 38% piece of the pie is this 5% chunk, other. 18 people took the time to offer additional suggestions and a few followed up with detailed emails. This is a goldmine of great ideas and suggestions. I want to thank everyone who has filled out the survey and particularly those who added remarks or offered assistance. If you joined DPAC after the survey, say after June 1st, or for some reason didn't get the survey invitation, please feel free to drop me a line and I'll send you the link. The survey will close on June the 8th. Then I'll put out a full video with the stats. And of course, the steering committee will then review the findings and make appropriate plans. Getting back to the May 18th steering committee meeting, the final topic we discussed was the issue that arose in the March AIM document about the procedural changes when flying near aerodromes. I put out a video on this topic on May 21st about these new recommendations to contact any aerodrome where you may be interfering with manned aircraft, how the NAV drone authorization system factors into this, and their recommendation to listen on the aviation airband. These recommendations might be okay, but there's now a lot of confusion in the air, if you pardon the pun. So Transport Canada has set up a meeting for June 16th to hear and understand our concerns. The entire DPAC steering committee is invited and I took one further step and asked that NAV Canada be included as well, since their position on this topic seemed, well, I'll say a bit different. And of course, it's crucial that their perspective is properly reflected in the AIM recommendations, since NAV Canada is actually the one operating the airspace and the larger airports. It should be an interesting meeting, and I really hope it is the start of some serious collaboration between Transport Canada, NAV Canada, and DPAC. My objective is to come out of this with clear, pragmatic, and safe operating procedures for drone pilots operating in the vicinity of aerodromes. So yeah, a busy month of May for the Drone Pilot Association of Canada and a busy June ahead. Thank you for all your support, ideas, comments, and emails. 
Now, it's been a bit of a fire hose some days, so I apologize if I don't get back to everyone in a timely manner, but it's all great. Deepak is already beginning to make a difference. If you haven't yet become a member, please do so at dronepilotassociationofcanada.com. Your membership is crucial to ensure we have a strong mandate and unified voice that Transport Canada and Nav Canada will recognize and respect. Thanks for watching. Safe and happy flying.